Welcome to part one of our latest vlog series where you're going to get to see behind the scenes what the OTT crew is up to in the hobby. If you want to see part two, come across to OnTabletop.com where it's up and ready for the Cult of Games. Hello everybody and welcome to a new month, new vlog. There's pirates up there. Yes. You'll, you'll be seeing those at some point um, because we'll be revisiting that over the, the course of weeks and months with gameplay and on other bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, but for our second set of vlogs, um, we're visiting a new army for Conquest slash Last Argument of the Kings First Blood. Slash game? Yes. <laughs> how that goes. Uh, so we have some behind us. It's John Snowitz. There's my spires. My dragon went in a box. They're not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any excuse. Uh, but we thought we'd start by building a new force for the new army, the city states. So, do you know anything about the city states? Uh, they look mildly Greek. They look very Greek. Um, interesting, interesting faction, actually. Um, so, the idea behind it is they're like the. Inheritors, it's a good word. Okay. They're the, like that word. they're the inheritors of all the good stuff that the Old Dominion did before their god went bakshi mad and tried uh -huh. to wreck the world. A couple of them spotted this was happening and one of them went, you know what, I'm just going to carve off a whole territory, bring all the best stuff, all the top level technology, equipment and brainy people and make the city states. Unfortunately, he flubbed it. <laughs> Does, doesn't that maybe explain why the, the Old Dominion got as bad as it did? Because if those people were there to help, maybe it wouldn't have got as bad as it did? Oh, no. No, I, I think when a god decides he's going to rage quit on the world, it doesn't matter how good people are, it's going to go badly wrong for them. Okay. So uh, city-states are split off, very Greek-esque, but high-tech is kind of worked in there. Um, but they have a couple of interesting things. So they've got sort of the city-states are sort of split into people who follow their little deity that they created. Uh, you've got cities, states that follow generals, and then you've got city states that follow the sort of the councils that were set up uh, because they were all meant to work synergistically together. Okay. Good. So it's, I can't believe it's not the old god. Yeah, that type of thing. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it means there's a, a bit of brouhaha, but it does mean when you're building your list, you can do some interesting things. Uh, so I've got some of them here um, to have a look at, depending on what way around you're going to sort of throw your weight behind. Mm -hmm. uh, if we go for the pole mark, uh, the, the sort of the militaristic city-states, you get the army of lions, they get a bit more clash when they're heading, when they're doing a bit of punching. So that's good. However, um, where is it? The, yeah, Edlon and the Mechanist, so the carrier of the god flesh, if you're going for that more godly side, um, they get a bit more resilient. Uh, slower, they don't move around as much, um, but their clock, clockwork hoplite regiments um, count as medium and are always sort of active, so they get a bit more push up the battlefield, a bit slower. And then the Aristarchs, uh, the councils, um, are very good for building Death Stars. That's oh. the best way to put it. Uh, and if anybody is unaware of the term Death Star unit, it's where you put all your points into one massive block. Yep heave it forward with a big card to the front and just ruin your friend's lives. Um, <laughs> and they can, never done it. they can do that really well with things like the phalangites, uh, which is probably not how that's pronounced. But uh, their back ranks almost work as well as their front ranks when it comes to attacking. Mm. Uh, so your front ranks sort of four dice per stand, back ranks three dice per stand. Mm. Generally, people are only supporting with one dice. Uh -huh. um, hoplites get two dice in support, so they're a bit more sturdy. Obviously, with these boxes, we can go either way. Mm, yeah. Um, I mean, I am liking the idea of being a little bit more, you know, of a chunky monkey, just doing more damage, rolling more dice. Yeah. You would. Well, yeah, well there is <laughs> what's, that. What's your preference, then? Anything that you're not doing. <laughs> so it's one way of putting it, certainly. Because I was looking at what the, the Nords have to offer, mm. and you've got a big block of six stands. Uh, you've got some light trips. We don't really have light trips here yet. Ish kind of will come to will come to them in a minute. Um, you've also got some ogres slash trolls. Mm. Uh, so if we're aiming for something similar to this, it may be a case of we've got some minotaurs 
matches the ogres. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. A big block of six stands of something, mm -hmm. and then maybe a supporting unit of something. Mm -hmm. I think if we're going to go for a big block, yeah, I like the phalangites. The phalangites, the they, they don't look as they don't have the hoplon. Is the problem the hoplon looks cool? We've all been there. We all know hoplons are cool. Mm -hmm. um, um, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe go for six of those and maybe three of the hoplites. Mm. Like I say, we don't really have light trips yet because the light trips aren't out yet. Yeah. Which is something for the future. So if we build this for sort of first blood or small conquest games, then we can always add to it. Yeah. When the other things come out, the the siloi, the bows, that sort of thing. However, the minotaurs come in two flavors. Flavor one is big bulky brute. Yeah. That you just charge forward, clash and smash. Yeah. The other flavor is actually a vanguard unit that can work with your light trips. So potentially, potentially our minotaurs can be light trips. That's that a, feels wrong. That's an interesting way to... I don't know. It's, it's, it's like an oxymoron <laughs> just built into a miniature. They, they still do all the impact and slashing and all the rest of it. They just don't do it as well as the standard buff minotaurs. Right. Another thing city-states can do is you can attach individual minotaurs to the front rank of other units as auxiliary units. Oh, that's interesting. And again, the light minotaurs then can be added to the light units when they come in. And then the beefy minotaurs can either be fielded as uh, auxiliaries for the, the hoplites and the phalangites, uh -huh. or they can be fielded as units of the, their, their own sort of devising. Interesting. I, I want to say it because it's too, it's too funny. So we're putting bull bars in front of all our trucks. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, very much, 100%. <laughs> we're just charging forward and just leveling stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking we've we've got two boxes of minotaurs or minotaurs yeah. if you're that way inclined. So I'm thinking we build one of each, yeah, mm. and then we build. I could be swayed either way at the moment, but I think a big block of pike to I, really hammer home the. It just makes sense. Yeah, we we hit you and all your friends around you and anybody close enough that we can poke. The, the general has been mildly offended by that direction. Go. And then we do one unit of hoplites because then we can always, we can bump it up with a minotaur attachment. <laughs> and then later on, we can add more to it. So mm -hmm. that's that's kind of where I'm at with what we're doing build-wise. Yeah. So scheme them. Yes. Because the box art is really nice. Yeah. Box art is, is beautiful, but I've seen, obviously they've got this very blue uh, blue, gold, yeah. silver kind of look yeah. to it. Uh, and they're referred to as... Um, the citizen soldiery, the hoplites are referred to as clockwork hoplites because they're very, very militaristic. Mm. They're almost TikTok man and they've lent into that with a lot of metallics. Yeah. Are you thinking a lot of metallics, John? Because we're all going to have to paint this together and I'm lazy. That, <laughs> that, that is also going to be the thing because you've got the three of us that paint in three completely different ways and you have to come up with a cohesive way for all three of us to paint and have it look good on the table. The alternative is... That didn't work with Blood and Blood. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Well, I mean, well, we haven't mine are at home because I dip mine, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how ridiculous mine look whenever they're, they're beside the other ones. But I'm, I think they're not going to be far off. I'm kind of thinking if we're going to do metallics, there's going to be one metallic step, and it's probably going to be a dry brush. Okay, and then a contrast paint over the top of that. Okay, yeah. That dry, if you want to do, well. if you want to do a good gold, you do a like gracier base, dry brush a metal, and then put Nasdrag yellow over the yeah. top of it, then you get a mm. metallic-ish looking thing. I mean, for me, anytime I'm doing it, if I want like a really poppy gold, it's straight up lead belcher down on it, then the Nasdrag over that, because then you get that real shine coming through it. They've obviously gone two-tone silver and gold. If you haven't seen the box art, uh, the editor will not include it here because he's standing beside me and he's probably staring daggers at me. Is he staring daggers at me, John? Yeah. yeah I'm not looking. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> But we were toying with the idea of possibly some sort of ceramic looking thing. Yeah, mm. we were thinking that, like doing a more... Because the technology is a thing for them, more mm. more so than the other factions, yes. from what I'm yeah, getting yeah. A, an idea of. Technology to me sort of feels like it should be clean. Yeah. And I think that would be a great contrast between like our Spires and our Nords, yeah. like mm. something a lot cleaner. And they even have... You're, you're thinking something along the lines of fantasy Kevlar? Yeah, I mean, there, there's one of the one of the upgrades for the leaders is um, living armor, right. and it's some sort of combination of mu multiple alloys. And whenever it gets struck, it sort of creeps over and blocks the impact. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I like the idea of the sort of the sci-fi fantasy feel of of not just going for straight metallics. Yeah. Mm. So 
possibly drop the silver in place of a, or, or will this be a case of we'll try a test scheme and then in a week's time we'll know what way we're painting I it? Think, I think we'll do a test scheme. And in fact, even if I do a test scheme and bring it onto the next vlog before hmm. any of the yeah. three colors ups are ready to go, then we can actually discuss it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'll be kind of fun. Yeah. All right, my one question then for the color scheme. Mm -hmm. We want a big splash of color. What are we thinking? At least one big splash of color just to make it pop on the table. So, so Spartan or not? <laughs> so, yeah, well, my, my problem with going for the Athenian look is that there's a lot of blue. Teal we have a lot of tealy blue over yeah, there for yeah, the spires. I, um, I do like the idea of big Spartan red all over the place. I'd like something but, like a nice poppy purple. Oh, uh, purple could be interesting, especially purple and gold work quite well. Yeah. Mm. So now you're talking about metallic steps again. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be adverse to a gold bit of here, there, everywhere. That's only because I've got um, some gold sharpies at home. Oh. I'm fairly certain I can just scroll over the top of all the raised. Because <laughs> there's enough there, for the entire class. There's a lot of raised areas on these. You probably wouldn't even have to think or anything. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Might might be one that the kids at home want to tell us. Maybe. I mean, Maybe. I, I know a good contrast between the purple and the gold is really going to jump out at you as long as you do it right. Yes. And then oh. you have your ceramic as well in there, John. What do you think? White ceramic? I think a, a, an off white because yeah. an off a, an off white can be a two step okay. white, mm. which is which is handy. So that could be an interesting color yeah. scheme, right? Because as I keep saying in three colors up, we're not doing it for display. We're doing no, it for no, we're game. doing it for gaming. We want, so yeah, we if want it's, them. If it's over two steps, you're doing too much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you want them to uh, you want them to pop without uh, without taking an age to do it. Yeah, mm. minotaurs are going to be interesting. Mm. The urge to paint them all like Frisians. Black with big white patches on them is huge, <laughs> but we should probably not do that. <laughs> probably not do what, that. What if we do them like Highland cattle? Literally an oh yeah, yeah, all like ginger. Big, all ginger, yeah. big amber. Yeah. Tell you what, that would certainly stand out on the table. Really right. Um, right, that's our thoughts currently. Mm -hmm. We're we've got a lot of build to do and uh, and a hell of a lot of painting this time, but we're we're spreading the load again between a lot of us. So mm -hmm. hopefully we should get through it. Let us know what you think. Uh, Spartan red, Athenian blue, or Macedonian purple, because everybody likes a bit of the macadamia nuts. <laughs> um, and also, if you think that's probably a good way to go, go block of um, phalangite, phalangite yeah. six of them, maybe a single stack of three hoplites, and then we're going to have our two minotaur, one of each flavor that we can either deploy or support with. Important thing, the way the game actually plays out, yes. we're probably going to need to get at least two of these guys on the go so you can split your regiments down. Yes, because we'll need to we'll need to do it. But then there are upgrade parts oh, okay. in the Hoplite Phalangite box to make additional leaders. Fair. So okay, we, we, we don't... Away from yeah. That sameness, yeah, yeah, we won't need to yeah. have two of the same. Yeah, again, New Range not a lot out just yet. Yeah, but let us know what you think. Uh, let us know if we're completely off base. Preferably if you can let us know that before we build these, that would be excellent. Because <laughs> if you let us know in a week's time when they're already glued together, we're not listening to you. <laughs> That's just how that goes. Uh, we're going to leave it there, folks. And join us for the next four weeks of mayhem and fun. Bye-bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.